the step-by-step -step process and how I overcame my stutter. I'm going to explain this fully to you right now. I hope this saves you 10 years, 20 years, 30 years of hiding, of holding back, of not being your true self. Because I know for me, when I hated my stutter, when I was getting put in these blocking states and these panic states and these fight or flight states and social interactions because I'd be afraid to stutter, I, I was not being myself. I was not being true. I was being a fake, fake version of myself. And that's why stuttering hurt. It wasn't because of the stutter itself, but the fakeness that I created around who I truly was. I would agree with things because it would cause the least amount of ripples. I would try to avoid judgment from anybody. I would speak to get approval, speak, speak to please people, speak to prove myself rather than just trusting myself and being myself. And this is the biggest lesson I learned in overcoming my stutter is overcoming my stutter was all about trusting myself again, trusting that I'm enough, no matter how I speak. This was the biggest, biggest, biggest thing. Um, before I get it, before I get into this, I just want to say I do have a program that helps people overcome stuttering in 10 weeks, guaranteed or money back. You can find that down below in the description. But if you just want to learn the step by step process, that's cool. Watch the rest of this video. So like I said, the, the thing that I had to realize in order to actually overcome it, I guess we should clarify what overcoming it means because I still stutter, but maybe 0.5% of what I used to stutter with, what the, 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 se the severity, but I don't even view, even, even if I stuttered the same amount, I would still say I overcame my stutter simply because it w does not hold me back anymore. I've changed my relationship with it where I'm able to stutter now and it does not arise fear, doubt, or anxiety. I'm able to, to just be myself, even if I stutter, because I still do stutter. It does not make me clench. It does not make me hot. It does not make me please or prove or do anything that the stutter used to. And it's all because of the relationship I had with it. I viewed it as unacceptable before. It was my whole life's mission to not stutter, to not show it to anybody. And that was fucking exhausting. That was so exhausting. And back when I hated my stutter every single day on YouTube, I would search up how to overcome stuttering most likely what you're doing now too. And I would learn these techniques to sing, to sing when you speak or these breathing techniques. But I knew I didn't need that. For one, every time I try to use this technique, I'd get more in my head and my speaking would become more mechanical, which would make me stutter more. And it never really helped. And two, I knew I didn't need that. Because I knew I could already speak fine in a room by myself, talking to a pet. I could already speak fine. I had to address the real issue. And I'm going to tell you the real issue you need to address right now too. The real issue is the value you're placing in other people's judgments of you. This is what dictates the severity of your stutter among who you speak to. The people who you're seeking the most from, you're going to stutter the most around. You don't stutter in front of a dog. Why? The dog can't judge you. If you stutter in front of the dog, he's not going to be like, I'm not your friend anymore. You're weird. He's going to be like, still fucking love me. I, I, I still love you. You stutter around a toddler. You're not going to. Why? Because his brain doesn't work in the way where he's like, this is odd. I'm not going to be around you anymore. He's like, love me still. I love you still. Just like that dog. But the moment you're like, ding, this person can judge me. This person can reject me. 
I now have to be perfect. Because of your relationship with getting judged, because of your relationship with the value you place in their judgments of you. You think you're going to die if you get judged. You think you're going to get rejected. And that's what puts you into this performance speaking mode, this mechanical speaking mode. It takes you out of your natural flowing, effortless speech, which we already have, and puts us in a mechanical way of speaking. Do not stutter. Be perfect. Make sure they think you're cool. Do not get rejected. Don't say something stupid. And all this extra stress and this performance anxiety that you give yourself causes tension to the body and causes you to stutter. So once you start to learn, hey, judgment doesn't kill me. Hey, they can, re they can reject me. And it actually says nothing about me, but we're just not in alignment. And that's fucking cool. Once you can honestly say that and you're, you're, and you're no longer speaking to avoid judgment, but you're speaking and you're, judge, and you're judging your own self-worth based off internal measures, not external measures of rejection, approval, whatever it may be. You're saying, I'm fucking enough. I'm enough in this conversation because I'm Chase fucking Gillis. That's it. Because I am a being, you are a being. You're a human being. We're all enough. I don't need to do anything. I don't need to say anything. I don't need to prove myself to prove that I'm enough. I'm inherently enough. And I don't know if that resonates with you like it would have with me. Or if I don't know if you're like, who is this guy? Like talking all this woo-woo shit, but this is the honest answer. Unless you want to learn speech techniques for the rest of your life and lose the spontaneous way of speaking that we have and lose that wit and lose that personality and always have a mechanical way of speaking, learn a speech technique, go to speech therapy. But if you truly want to Express yourself like in a room by yourself or to somebody you're extremely comfortable with and you're effortless with. You want to express this version of yourself to all. Then you must get real with yourself and address the value you're placing in other people. And that's a big chunk. All right. I also had to find meaning in my life. I had to find a purpose. I had to get my health right. And I had to change my relationship with my stutter. Those are the four main steps. The big one is learning to stop caring so much about what people think of you, getting meaning in your life, having a purpose, changing your relationship with how you view your stutter and getting your health right. Once these four things are intact or are all working together, you have completely overcome your stutter. So I gave you the steps. But for me to explain all the actions and bring you through all the exercises, it would take 12 hours. And I say 12 hours because that's how long my program is. It's 12 hours of content spread out through 10 weeks with all the actions you need to take out in public, with all the exercises you need to do and the morning and night routines that you need to, de that you need to start developing into your life. In order to create this new pattern of living, of how you're perceiving people's judgments of you for 10 weeks. And once, and once you have all these actions down and you, you've taken consistent actions for 10 weeks, your stutter will no longer be a problem. Of course, you can't be a couch potato now. It's not like you do this for 10 weeks and now you can just chill and play games again and lay back. No, you... you I'm still on my purpose. I'm still not giving a fuck about what people think because I'm living on my edge. Because I'm asking girls out when I think they're cute. Because I'm, push, because I'm pushing myself. It's, that's the reason why I don't just give up now. No, it's fun. It's exciting to live on that edge. And after these 10 weeks, you'll be able to live on the edge with having overcome your stutter. And again, that's guaranteed or your money back plus 
free one-on-one -on -one coaching from me until you reach your goals. That's how much this process works. So if you want this program or you want to look at more details of it, look at the link in the description. And that's all I'll say for now. I love you.